Hi, welcome to part three of my series on my work in progress park of Warner Brothers Movie World Gold Coast Australia. Uh, first thing I'd like to point out, I haven't tested it yet. This is the first time I've opened a park. I've put a couple of spawn points in one at the bus. Uh, being a left hand drive country, I had to move the bus door around. I still need to work on that. And I've put a couple inside the ticket booth. So people enter the park from inside the booth. They don't seem to be working right now, but I'll have to rejig it. And the other park entry is down beside the hyper coaster. They enter from across the lake. So this is the first time I've put some gas in the park, but so there's still a few glitches I haven't worked out very much. Doesn't seem like people can get past my ticket booths there. I don't know why, but that's for me to work out later. Now, other things I've worked on this week. Well, it's been a couple of weeks because I had a little vacation. So in the last few weeks, I've added this tram into through the studios it gets entered to here. Takes you up the road, past the studios, to the Paradise Country Farm. Now, in real life, this is just a cattle station sort of farm. You can go and see koalas have pony rides and etc. So if a train drops passengers off over here, and then I've added a go-kart ride. The neighbouring water park, which is also on property, has a buggy ride, which is like a June buggy. So I've just put that in there as a bit of a, because it's a replica, it's a bit hard to do. There's a tram driving on the road. I've achieved its path covers. Unfortunately, I can't have it turned from one side of the road to the other all the time. So I've just got it back and forward as a shuttle. Between there and next to the Superman skate ride. I've done a lot of the back of house work. These are the studios in my park. I've put a little bit of a couple of trams through there that will pretty much just run in test mode while well, the park is open just to add a bit of life to the studios. Uh, there's the Arkham Asylum coaster, which I haven't really shown much of before. There's some people entering the park. Now my DC Rivals coaster here, which I still need to do some work on the station area, is has an extreme rating so I might see how it goes. I might need to put some trim brakes on it. We'll see how that goes. I can't really slow it down much more. I don't want it running any slower than that at the end of the ride. I've added a couple more details to the kids area. Still got to do a bit of work to it. And I have added Change the go-karts that were in here to a driving school, which is an indoor junior driving school. In real life, you drive around the streets of New World, so I put a bit of a castle there and a couple of things. I use glass roofs to give the ride some cover, so it'll be used during wet weather. I've got two car rides in the same area. This one was when the park opened. That one was a driving school for afterwards. Done a lot of the back of the house work here too. 
since the last update. Still got to do the car show. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do that. I've shown this area off before. Uh, this is into the western area. This is all new, new this week. Some of the buildings, that's a burger restaurant there, yeah, an ice cream shop. A water tower, a perspective board, just hiding the back of the house area. Some of the shops going on to the up into the Wild West Falls Ride. And then at the end we've got a Boot Hill Cemetery. We've got a show stage here that isn't used very often. I think that's about it for this week. Uh, if there's any comments or anything you want to have a closer look at, please let me know and I can make another video. Thanks.